Now, moving on to examination of the elbow. The first thing we'll refresh is the surface anatomy of the elbow. The elbow joint is formed by three bones. The humerus, the radius, and the ulna. The humerus comes down and broadens into a medial epicondyle and a lateral epicondyle. Um, it is a fo fossa posteriorly called the olecranon fossa to allow the olecranon of the ulna fit into. And there's a coronoid fossa um, anteriorly to allow the coronoid process of the ulna fit into. The radial head can be palpated by a pronation, supination action across the elbow joint. The olecranon has got the least amount of skin covering and is easily palpated posteriorly. The triceps muscle comes down posteriorly and inserts into the outer margin of the olecranon. The biceps muscle comes down anteriorly and inserts into the radial head and it allows for flexion of the elbow and supination. There's also brachioradialis running down the radial side and brachialis underneath it. From the medial epicondyle we get our flexor tendons and the pronator teres muscle. From the lateral epicondyle we get our extensor muscles and the supinator muscle. The main artery that runs down here is the brachial artery. It is easily palpated by asking the patient to flex their arm and just medial to the tendon of biceps we find the brachial artery and the median nerve is medial to this again. The ulnar nerve runs posteriorly and in thin people this can sometimes be visible. The radial nerve runs radially or laterally to the biceps tendon. There's an ulnar collateral ligament which is an important force in stabilizing the elbow joint and the less important radial collateral ligament.